Laura asks, which Tadpole song had the most meaning to you? And if you could go back to Tadpole Redline days, which song do you wish you could have changed the arrangement of? And would it be hard or soft rock? <laughs> Okay, Laura, uh, I just so happen to uh, have pulled out the old uh, Tadpole albums here and um, yeah, I had to think about this for a moment because I guess for me, what's meaningful to me um, may be different to maybe what you would consider meaningful or to someone else in the band would find meaningful. You see, uh, Meaningful to me was not from a, I guess, a lyrical place, uh, because Renee was the sole lyric writer at the time in Tadpole, so for me it was more about uh, how I contributed to the band by coming up with guitar riffs at the time. And um, I remember going through the, the Buddhafinger uh, songwriting sessions having a, a kind of like a challenge to myself where each song that I came up with guitar parts for had to be a little different from the last. Um, there was no kind of repeating of ideas at all. Each one was always going to be a little, little different. Uh, but if I was to choose one song which uh, had the most meaning to me, uh, this probably is going to be no surprise, but it would be all right. Uh, not because it ended up being one of those songs which uh, still happens to get some rock radio play, which uh, I'm surprised and grateful for, but I remember being in the practice room at the time and when we had come up with the basic riff and we'd been jamming it around for a little while, Renee was, you know, th there was a vocal idea uh, that was ticking around in her head and I, I remember the moment when she finally managed to figure out uh, her vocal idea and she started singing it and it was just the most amazing vibe because it just, it had this energy to it, it had this vibe to it, um, and we were all just like bouncing off the wall, so to speak, we are jamming it over and over and over, and it just had this energy, and it felt really good. Um, it wouldn't be until a little while later that we would go into the studio and record it properly, but it just, it had that natural energy to it, and I guess that song has got the most meaning to me, because it was one of those uh, magical songwriting moments. You see, sometimes as a musician, you can struggle to write a song. It can take a lot of effort and it feels like you can chip away for ages to try and uncover what the song should be. But that song there, in that moment, it just, it came together and it just had this energy and it was just, like I said, a magical songwriting moment. So, if I'm going to choose all of the Tapol songs, it would be that one because it just had that spark when we were writing it uh, and it just it was like it just fell into place. Now your second question if you could go back to Tadpole Redline days which song do you wish you could have changed the arrangement of Hard or Soft? I tell you what I wouldn't change anything and the reason for that is a song or an album is like it's a snapshot in time of where you are at as a band, as an artist. And uh, I think what you can do after the fact is you can come up with different versions of a song, you can reimagine and reinterpret it, but the way that a song is captured should be the original form and the best form and best interpretation of that song. So that's why. All the songs that I've had the chance to write over the years, I would not change their original form at all. 
I would be happy to reinterpret them and I've done that a few times where you take what is effectively an electric guitar driven song and rather than it being a high energy version you'll pick up an acoustic guitar and you'll do a more laid back version instead. It doesn't replace the original version, it's just you're reinterpreting it in a slightly different style but it can never take away from the original vibe and the original energy and the original essence that you had. So uh, yeah, uh, that hopefully that answers your question. I would not go back and change anything at all from any of those songs because they are the way that they were meant to be and they are a snapshot in time of what it was like to be that artist in that mindset.